Hello, this is Mark from Lightmap. I'm going to show you the new integration between Maya and HDR Light Studio. So we've got a scene here in Maya and in this example, we're gonna show you a V-Ray scene and it's got the shaders applied and the camera view, but we don't have any lighting at the moment. So you can see the HDR Light Studio connection panel and we have V-Rays, the renderer selected there, but there are no hooks for us to connect to. Uh, but we've updated this connection, so what you can do is just press start and we will create one for you if it's not already been set up. So if I just press OK, HDR Light Studio now opens and a V-Ray dome light has been created and we are connected with that, so that's fantastic. And then if we have a look at the HDR Light Studio interface, there's been some changes. We've got these big play buttons and we've got an extra render view. Let's look at the original render view and press play. And you're offered to import the scene geometry. So if we press import, this will bring in the scene directly from Maya. So I'll turn down the brightness of that background. And as normal, you can drag a light and drop it onto this view. And then you can drag on the model and you get that instant feedback that people love about HDR Light Studio. So that's how it works, just as normal. So let's look at this view here. It says render view, Maya V-Ray. So the connection knows that we're connected to Maya and the renderer is V-Ray. So if I press this button, it will start IPR inside of Maya using V-Ray. There we go. So if we go back to HDR Light Studio, we'll see that we're actually displaying directly in our interface that render from Maya and V-Ray. Now the great thing is, it supports a lot of the same features as HDR Light Studio's view. So as I can uh, click in this view to move the light, you can also click in this view and it will move the light. Now if I want to drag and drop a light, let's say a nice softbox over the top of the car here, where I drop that light, it will appear on the model. So actually, unless you want that very interactive feedback to find the sweet spots on the lighting, you could not use HDR Light Studio's render view at all now. So if I just close that view, I can light this shot exclusively by using the V-Ray view. So for example, this overhead softbox, if I make that horizontal, it'll look better. And then I'll scale that up a bit. And then I'll find a nice spotlight to drag and drop onto the wing mirror there. So if I just drag that, drop that there. Scale it down, but make it extremely bright. Even brighter. You can see it's actually very easy for us to start to light this model. So if I then click on the toolbar to make a light, it automatically appears in the middle of the HDR. But if I then click on the model here, so if I want to put a light on the HDR I map behind here, I can click on here and change the light paint mode to rim. So if I then click on here, it will put that light behind the car. I'm going to duplicate control D, that spotlight and see if I can get a nice spotlight gleaming off the back of the car here. Now, because I had rim mode selected, I should have reflection mode. Then when I click on there, I should get a nice highlight. I'm 
and I'll duplicate it again. Put one around here. So this is not the most beautiful lighting, but I'm just showing you the principles here. And of course, any light that you make in HDR Light Studio can be promoted to an area light. So if I say make a new light, make an area light, and then dolly that into the model and say we click on here, You can see that 3D light source has been made in Maya and V-Ray. So if I want to light up this wheel here, click in the middle of the wheel, and then I'll dolly that in. Scale it up. And then I can use the lat and long sliders to kind of orbit that light to a better position. And I will solo that light so I can see its effect. And if I hide the camera visibility, the light itself won't obscure There we go, so we've got that nicely lighting, putting a bit of a gleam on the wheel there. So that's just a quick demo really of showing you, you can now basically work directly inside of uh, V-Ray, inside of HDR Light Studio and get that interactive feedback and this is actually on a very slow computer as well. So if you've got a nice fast computer, uh, you're gonna have a really great experience. So to finish your lighting, you press the HDR button and let's give those files the name demo. Press render and it will render the HDR IMAP and it will render the area light uh, HDR content as well, which will then be applied to those lights inside of Maya. So that's the end of the process you're done. So we can get HDR Light Studio out of the way. We can see the renders updating to use that final high resolution content. And if I press stop, HDR Light Studio will be unloaded. And we're just left with a scene that is lit perfectly having used HDR Light Studio. So we hope you like the improvements to the connection. It's much faster to get started by pressing the start button. There's no need to create your image based lighting before you start using HDR Light Studio. And then once you're in Light Studio, the new import feature for just bringing your model straight across is much more, much faster workflow. And then the ability to have your renderer directly inside of HDR Light Studio and to see the lighting interact with your shaders uh, is a real improvement as well. So we hope you enjoy the carbon release of HDR Light Studio.